Everyday, we're doing another blind bag opening. I've not done one of them in quite a while, so I've seen these on Amazon. They were quite cheap for quite a few packets, so I thought I'd get them. So we've got the Ghostbusters Ecto Minis, it's the classic ones or classic. So I'm assuming some of the same range as the figures that we've unboxed. And there's a few glow in the dark phosphorescent, I'm assuming I pronounced that right. So there's a few figures here that go in the dark pieces. I think Slimer goes in the dark, I'm not entirely sure because he looks a bit different. There's a mystery figure here which I if I remember correctly, it's literally just another Slimer, which is kind of upsetting. Which, so, my little son, my son's already opened a couple of these when he was last here. So he got the glow in the dark Egon, and he also got Peter Venkman. So I'm quite jealous of the Venkman, he was very happy with Egon, that's his favourite character. So I think I've got five, maybe six packets to open. So let's see who I get. I can really do this by looking at the thing and not through the camera. So let's see if we go in here. So the first one we get is clearly my least favourite Ghostbusters character, Slimer. Right, so he looks not bad. Alright, he's kind of see-through. What the hell is inside him? Is that maybe like a skeleton of Slimer? I don't know. Right, so let's see him there. Let's get another one out of the box. Who have we got? Who do we get? I'll cut from this side this time. This time I'll actually watch where I'm cutting. There we go. So I don't know who's going to be in the packet, I'll open away from myself. We've got Winston, that's actually a terrible likeness of Winston. What's with the pout? I really do not like that pout. So uh, yeah, the Ghostbusters logo is printed pretty well on him. There's some detail but there's no paint detail on the Proton Pack. You can see the straps painted on there, there's no name badge that I can see. Yeah. So he can sit down there, so let's get another one out. What I'd really like is one of the terror dogs. I'd actually really like one of the terror ones. That's what I'm doing, so don't cut my finger off. Let's see who we got in here. So we've got another Ghostbuster. We've got Ray. So we've got Dan Aykroyd's Ray Stans. He's looking a bit miffed. He actually looks like he did a wee bit in the Ghostbusters Mega Drive game. So like that. So once again, the Ghostbusters logo looks decent. No, no paint detail on the backpack and we can't see his name badge because his arm and he's hunched over in a weird position. So I've got two of the Ghostbusters plus a Slimer so far. So if I get any doubles I'll keep them up there in front of Vigo. Now let's see, so I've got this one. Paper. And we have another Winston. Now let me talk about him. My son will probably take him. Let's see who we go in this one. So in this one we've got, oh we've got a regular ego. What's with the glasses? That's my first question. What's with the glasses? Can I, can I not just painted them white? That's just, oh that's cool. The hair's spot on. That hair's awesome. It's just like the other figures. You can't see a name badge. The, the actual ghost logo's printed on nicely and he's in a decent pose. I'm pretty sure the head is movable. Yep, head is movable. Just like my son's going to dark one, so I've got three Ghostbusters and one double Winston. How many packets have I got left? I've got one left in the box. I'm pretty sure there's another one sitting back there that I forgot to put in the box, so I'll have to go grab it. So, who have I got in here? And we have another Ray, so we've got two Rays. So look, the box is empty back in a second, I'll go get the one I forgot to put in it. Oh Jesus, I should have planned this bit. I should have planned this out. I have a top and I don't know where I've sat the tools. Where are that? Here they are. The next to blind bags for another video. There we go. Let's see, how do I get in this one? And we've got. Oh, we've got one of the glow in the dark ones, and that looks like the Ray figure since it's got the. The goggles, so let's compare these. So I actually quite like how the glow in the dark figures look. Yeah, so other than the head, there doesn't seem to be any difference, but it still looks cool. Yeah, so got all the Ghostbusters except Venkman. My son's got Venkman. Damn it. <laughs> 
Oh well, I did plan on buying more packets of these. I've got another packet sitting on the shelf that I wasn't going to open. But you know what? I'm going to go get it. I'm going to open that one. Screw it. I'll buy some more in the future. They were surprisingly cheap. And who did we get? We got another ray. Could have kept this one sealed. I've got two rays now. Ah, that's the that's the blind bag business, I suppose. But I'm quite happy with the ones that are oh, other than Slimer. It's actually quite big compared to the Ghostbusters. I apologise for the sound quality with my camera stand. So yeah, it's quite big compared to them. Quite big. So. Yep, so those are the Ghostbusters blind bags. Uh, I've got some more Ghostbusters videos in the future. I think I've mentioned that a few times. I've got a few planned out. I plan on maybe trying to get a play, a, a Let's Play done of the Ghostbusters video game in time for the 10th anniversary, but I've got it on the PS3, so I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go down. I may have to hijack someone's PC and do it on a PC, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe the Xbox One. Because I know it's backwards compatible on the Xbox 360 version. I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. Well, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and share and all that jazz. You know me, I'm so good at mentioning all that stuff at the end. But aye, have a good one.